Hello, welcome to this video about my Mazda 8 uh, UK uh, import all the way from Singapore. This is a quick overview of the car because there is nothing like this about the Mazda 8 or the Mazda MPV on YouTube at the moment in the UK. So I'm just uh, doing this as a voiceover because of all the, all the children's noises in the actual video. As you can see, you can unlock it, it's keyless entry, you just press the button on the door and the doors are electric. You can see there's an absolute ton of room inside, literally a ton. This is the reason you buy this car because you have cavernous, cavernous space. Those two seats in the middle row have got ISOFIX. Um, the run in the back and the front do not. Going around to the other side, you've got sliding doors on both sides. I can't remember what I'm going to do here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you the boot. So the boot is actually electric, but you don't, it also functions as a normal boot without the electric. So I imagine if the electric ever goes, you don't need to worry. Those back seats are power up, but they are manual down. So you can see that that one there is restricted by the seat in front. You can just give it a tug. I'll show you on the other side here. So you just push it down by pulling the lever. There you go, there's your cavernous boot that you'll never need all that space. And then you just flick that button and it pops up. So these specs are for the 2013 onward model uh, power boot is only on the 2013 to 16 model um, so it's 4.9 meters long so it's as long as a Range Rover full size you've got van tires on there I got four new ones when I first bought this car and they were affordable I think it was about 75 pounds each for mid-range coming in here you can see you've got remote uh, you, you've got the buttons for the boot and the both doors so whenever I pull up, I just open both doors. Pretty convenient. Loads of space in the front there. You've got a centre console which flaps down, so you can literally, from the front, you can walk down all the way to the back row. If you've got anything in the boot, you don't even have to get out. It's like a van. It's fantastic. So the, on the 2013 model onwards, it's got electric driver seats, controls. Um, it's pretty low, so you can see we've got quite a steep drive here, but it does just about go over that drive. Um, but if you've got a steep drive like us, do double check, because the pitch of those wheels is massive. Um, what am I looking at now? Oh yeah, so let's talk about fuel economy, because actually this is where it's questionable. It gets about 20, 27 miles to the gallon if you're just pootling around town, and it gets about 40 if you're doing uh, out of town driving. Um, it's, it's 75 quid to fill up the tank. It's an old Mazda engine, so uh, UK spec Mazda engine, so you don't actually need to go for the E5, just go for E10. If you do ever go to get this serviced, the old Mazda 6 used to have a 2.3 litre non turbo. They also had a 2.3 litre turbo, so if you do get the turbo one from Japan, you can always um, get it serviced over here. So I just showed you the seat slides together so you can make this into a three seater on that row. Although you'd have to be very three very small people and no ISO fix in there. It also comes with a TV. Again, this is the 2013 plus. That works for us, stick the DVD in. It's also got tri-zone climate control so you can control the rear temperature from the front. And then obviously you've got the standard dual zones in the front. Um, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, there's a button there you can press just to just to close that door so kids can kids can easily close it. My five-year-old can open it from the outside, although she does need to tug it pretty hard. Um, it doesn't come with a locking wheel nut, as standard at least, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you the key. The key that it comes with is pretty unintuitive. Having the same button for lock and unlock is an absolutely stupid thing, but you can open the boot and you can open the sliding doors from that. And if you just have the key, you can get into the car just using the key, unlock the door and do it like that. If you have any questions about this car, just give me a shout or a message here.